children are a blessing from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Labbi, and in today's video, we will go through what Islam has said about treating children. Islam has provided some wonderful guidelines for parents in order to raise our children. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the model for the whole of humankind. His attitude towards children was always compassionate and merciful. It is said that you should play with your children for the first seven years of their life, then teach them for the next seven years, then advise them for the next seven years, and so on. Raising children is a bother. Recite the azan when your child is born. Perform a kika. It is common to see even people who claim that they act in the Quran and Sunnah showing less interest in playing with their children or giving them. The due attention of expression of love. Teach kalima tayiba. Be a role model and teacher. Read children stories of the prophets and teach them the Quran. Children have certain rights over their parents. It is the family's obligation to shelter, feed, clothe, educate, support, and love them. Spend time with them. Develop an encouraging and supportive environment. Keep an eye. On the company of your kids, the prophet was always considered about everyone's feelings. In Islam, both male and female children should be treated equally and should be loved and cherished. Pray in front of them. Explain the five pillars of Islam and the meaning. The Prophet's love for children was not restricted to his children and grandchildren. The extent of his mercy and affection embraced all children. And he showed the same interest and gentleness to his companions' children. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Allah Hafiz, and see you in the next video.